everybody. Today I'm doing my February book haul. From this month on, I have set myself two criteria. The first being that I'm only allowed to spend $20 and no more. And the second one is that I'm only allowed to buy up to 10 books. This keeps me from buying way too many books, even though there's no such thing as too many books. And it also keeps me from spending too much money, because I'm trying to save up money for MistyCon, which is a Harry Potter conference coming up in May. And I would like to buy a lot of the books that the authors that are going to be there are selling. So I can't do that without money now, right? I got up to 10 books. I spent about $17 for the entire lot. And I was super happy about that. I got books from Books A Million, the library book sale that happens every first Sunday of the month. And I also got it from Mr. K's bookstore. So here we go. Books A Million had a buy two, get one free sale. So I took full advantage of that and I also bought books that were about a dollar each and here they are. The first book is Tempting Fate by Esther Freisner. I read the back of this. It's about a girl who has trouble finding a job until she joins a temp agency called Divine Relief which so happens to be run by goddesses. And I thought that would be really cute and I'm excited to read this. The next book I got is G.P. Taylor's Tisseris the Oracle. I had loved the premise of this. It's about a blind boy oracle, Tisseris, who's kidnapped by a guy named Solomon who's trying to use his powers for evil to take over the world. And it's set in a near apocalyptic London, which sounds really cool. And I'm just excited to read this. It looks like it's going to be really interesting. The last book I got at Books A Million is Marley's Ghost by David Levithan. I thought this was really cute. It's a Valentine's version of A Christmas Carol, and this was also my fourth to-be-read book in February. I already read it. I thought it was good, and you're just going to have to wait till the review just to see how I thought about it fully. The next set of books is from Mr. K's Bookstore. The first book I got is Gingerbread by Rachel Kahn. I was really excited that I found a book that was just by Rachel Kahn and not by her and another author. So I picked it up because I'm just really interested to see how she writes solo. The next two books I got from Mr. K's I actually heard about from the Readables, which I will put a link to her channel in the description down below. And the first one is High Society by Allie Carter. Every time the Readables talks about this book in her videos, she rants and raves about it, so I was really interested to give it a try, and since it was about $3, I kind of jumped at the opportunity. The next book I got was A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. Not only did I want to read this because the Readables read it, I also wanted to read it because I've been wanting to read a Libba Bray book since I saw her at Ascendio. She did a panel about LGBT books and I've just, uh, she's awesome. She was hilarious and I just can't wait to read this. On to the library book sale and this one actually has two books that I've been wanting to buy for a very long time. And since I saw them at the library bookstore, I just, I had to buy it. I had to. The first one is Sister Slam and the Poetic Motor Mouth Road Trip. And this is really cool. I really loved the description on the back, and I'm going to read that to you right now. On the way to a slam poetry contest in New Jersey, Slam's sister and her best friend Twig hit a pig with their car, get pulled over by the cops, fight with one of the judges, lose the contest, get into two more fender benders, fight with each other and finally land on the front page of a newspaper in New York City, but that's just the beginning of their adventures. And I can't wait to see what else they could get into, because that just seems like a bad time in and of itself. And another thing I like about this book is that it's also in poetry form. And you know how I feel about books that are in different formats, and I'm excited to read this because it looks cool. I love the cover of it. The second book I got from the library is A Savage Damsel and the Dwarf. I kind of basically got this because of the cover. I've been wanting to try and find a good fantasy book that's not based off of a series. And I'm not quite sure if this is based off of a series or not. So I'm just going to have to look into that. But we'll see how good it is. Alright, these next two books I am super excited about that I found at the library book sale. Because I've been wanting both of these books for so long. And the first one is The Girl with a Dragon Tattoo by Sag. Larson, and I've been wanting to read this since I saw the sweetest version of the movie, and I'm just excited to read this. I'm so excited! And the last book, I had to leave it to last, because it's just so awesome. You guys know it's awesome, because I hear so many good things about it. 
And I love the TV show, if that's going to give you guys a hint. And it is Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. I am super excited to read this. My boyfriend actually has a copy of this book, but I wanted one for my own so I wouldn't have to give it back to him whenever he was ready to read it. So I just got myself one. It was 50 cents of all time, and it's in pretty good condition. It's kind of marked up right there, but I had to grab it the moment that I saw it. I actually put another book away just so I could get this. Now, if you've been counting along, that was 10 books, but I actually got one more book. Now, before you guys say, oh, I thought you said you weren't going to buy more than 10 books. I thought you were going to spend more than $20. Blah, 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 blah. I won this one from Goodreads, and I was super excited because I came home the other day from work, saw a package with my name on it, opened it up, and it was a free book. Oh, my God. That book is Who Done It? An Anthology, Investigation of Murder Most Foul. It's alibis by authors with motives. And it's got so many great authors. It's got John Green, Maureen Johnson, Lev Grossman, Ned Vizzini, Lemony Snicket. <laughs> oh my god, there's a lot of authors in this book. And I'm super excited to read this. This is one of the Goodreads giveaways that I wanted to win the most. So I was super excited that I won it. Oh my god. Alright everybody, that was my book haul for this month. If there was a book from the stack that you want me to read the most, just leave it in the comments and I'll get to that right away. And if you guys want me to review any books that I've read, just leave that in the comments as well and I will get to it. I will do that for you guys. I will. Because I love you guys. I love you so much. I will see y'all later. Bye.